Hello, and welcome to Cox Reels Tech Tips. We're standing out here on one of Cox Reels assembly lines, and I'm going to show you how to relocate the position of the guide arm. Now, before we get started, a little bit of safety. Anytime you're dealing with any kind of sheet metal components, be sure to wear gloves. The second thing is the reel should be mounted or bolted in place because we're going to be pulling a little bit of tension out of it. Now, this is a P-series reel, but it also works for any spring rewind reel. What we're going to do is we're going to pull out a little bit of hose and then latch the reel in place. Now we're going to simply loosen and remove these four bolts, reposition the arm, and retighten them in place. Now, the reason that we have a video for this is not because that was hard to do. It's because the result of this action can result in lockout. Now this is because at the factory, we set the reel up so you never end up in lockout. But once you start moving the arm, it's a potential that you may end up there. Let me show you what lockout is. Here's a reel without the disc and spring and drum on it. The way that the ratchet works is it goes and it latches in place. As you pull the reel out, you're eventually going to get to the end of the hose, and then you can't pull the reel anymore. So if you get to the end of the hose, and at the same time you end up in a ratchet position, that's called lockout. The only thing you can do is then turn the drum a little more by hand to rewind it, but you can't do it by pulling on the hose because you're on the end of the hose. And there's a very specific way to deal with this, and I'm about to show you how. What we need to do is change where the end of the hose is. And the way to do that is to relocate this inside clamp. Behind this screw is a clamp that's holding it, and that's essentially the end of the hose. There's another hole in your disc right here and you need to move this clamp to this position and that will get you out of lockout. Let me demonstrate. This particular reel doesn't go into lockout, but this shows you the situation. If I'm at the bottom and it's latched, I can't pull on the hose anymore. I can, of course, go by hand and turn the reel a little more and release it. So to fix this scenario, unwind the hose, relatch the reel in a place where you can get to the hose clamp, <laughs> and then you will need a nut driver and a Phillips screwdriver to remove this internal hose clamp. Once you do, the idea is going to be just to move this hose clamp to another hole. So I may unlatch the reel a little more. Move my hose clamp down. And reinstall it in this next hole location. There's actually a hole on the other side too if you needed to go farther, but one turn is usually enough to get you out of any lockout scenario. And then the reel works just like it did before. And that is how you relocate your arm position and deal with a lockout scenario. Thank you for watching Cox Reels Tech Tips. Check us out on YouTube channel and our website, and have a nice day.